Vez2 and welcome to the first in our series of instructional wet shaving tutorial videos. Today we're going to talk about what exactly is wet shaving and some of the history behind it. Uh, so wet shaving really is shaving with a razor blade, water of course, and some sort of lubricant like a soap or cream to produce a lather. Um, in the early days shaving was accomplished with sharpened stone tools uh, which then evolved into sharpened iron tools and knives uh, which then evolved into a straight razor. Uh, now, early on, the straight razor was not a tool that you would generally use to shave yourself. Um, you would go to a barber shop or someone in your household uh, would shave you if, if you had the means to actually attain one of these uh, yourself. Um, but it is a tool that requires maintenance. Uh, you have to hone them, keep them sharpened. Uh, it takes a lot of tools or at least a lot of money to maintain them, especially in the early days. So, um, generally speaking, this is just something that you would go out and have somebody else do for you. Uh, it wasn't until the late 1800s when we developed the single edge razor. Now this was one of the first razors designed to actually use to shave yourself. Uh, this early design, the Camp Brothers single edge razor, uh, takes a wedge blade. Now what a wedge blade is, is uh, the last section of the straight razor cut off and actually inserted into a holder making it a razor that you could shave yourself. So while this was convenient for you to use on yourself and made it very easy to shave, uh, it still required maintenance. You still had to hone this to keep it sharp, uh, which again, you either had to buy those tools yourself or you had to send it out to somebody and pay for them to actually keep it sharpened for you. So it really wasn't until the early 1900s when King Cap Gillette came up with the idea of the disposable double-edged razor blade and double-edged razor uh, that made it much more easy for a gentleman to cheaply and easily shave himself at home. Uh, he could just load up this uh, with a blade, shave with it until it was no longer sharp, pitch the blade out in the trash and add a new blade and he was good to go. Um, the razors evolved over the next 70 years, um, but they really didn't change that much. The blades themselves remained virtually unchanged uh, over that 70 years. Now it wasn't until 1970 that uh, Gillette Company realized that there were so many companies out there making these double-edged razor blades that would fit into their razors and they wanted their customers to be buying their razors and their blades. So they came up with the cartridge system. Uh, now the cartridge system was uh, also very convenient for the user. Uh, everything was self-contained. It had two blades, which they advertised as being better than one, of course. Um, but everything was self-contained. It was hard to cut yourself. It was very easy to, to pull this off, put you in the trash. Uh, you didn't have to worry about touching the edges of the blade and worry about cutting yourself. It was very safe. Uh, the Trap 2 came out and then also the Atro. Now the Atro was the first razor with a pivoting head. Uh, now this allowed the user to shave themselves and didn't have to worry so much about the angle. So it took a lot of the worry and the work out of the actual shave uh, and made it much uh, less likely that you were going to cut yourself with the razor. Uh, so they advertised these as being uh, much easier to use. Uh, that they shaved closer because there were two edges and then they evolved into three edges and then four and five and so on. So this evolution is where we are at today. Uh, they also evolved in the methods in which we produce our shaving cream, uh, whether it be from a soap uh, or a cream using a, a badger or boar brush in the early days to now what we have in the stores commonly is canned foam. Now this is still wet shaving. Water is the first ingredient on this product. Uh, so at heart it is still all wet shaving. Uh, and this was touted as being uh, a time saver. Uh, it was more convenient. You just push a button, you've got your lather in your hand already. You didn't need the time uh, involved to whip up the lather, so it was much more convenient. Um, but today a lot of gentlemen are uh, kind of disappointed with the razors. Uh, they're fed up with paying the extra high prices for getting replaceable cartridges. Um, and some of them are just dissatisfied with the shave that they actually get from uh, the cartridge razor systems and the canned foams and gels. Um, I know myself, when I was shaving with my Mach 3, uh, I was getting a terrible razor burn on my neck and lots of redness and irritation. Uh, well, then I went to the internet and I tried to find out uh, if there was anything I could do about that razor burn that I was getting and I discovered Badger and Blade and uh, I learned about this whole new system, new, uh, of traditional shaving. Now these are all considered wet shaving but in, in BadgerandBlade.com on the forums what we're normally talking about when we refer to wet shaving typically what we actually mean is traditional wet shaving. We're not talking about the, 
the cartridge systems, we're not talking about the phones, uh, even though some gentlemen still use them and that's perfectly okay. Uh, but typically what we're talking about is the traditional methods. We're talking about going back to the double edge blades. We're talking about going back to the single edge blades. We're talking about shaving with a straight razor. Uh, we're talking about going back and using these soaps and the creams to produce our lather uh, using a bore or using a badger brush, uh, using a, a shaving mug, using a scuttle uh, to produce our lather in. That's kind of what we're talking about when we say traditional or when we say wet shaving. We kind of use that wet shaving term uh, interchangeably. Sometimes we actually mean traditional wet shaving, but it's, it's just more common on the forums to use the term wet shaving. So that's kind of where we're at. Um, now in future episodes, uh, we will actually be talking about and breaking apart the actual pieces of the shave. Uh, we'll have episodes dedicated to bowls and scuttles. We'll have episodes dedicated to creams, to soaps, to brushes, and to the razors themselves. Uh, so that's what you have to look forward to in the future for me. Um, if you have any ideas for any future episodes, you have any questions that you want me to answer uh, in the videos, uh, please let us know in the comments. Uh, we thank you for joining us at BadgerandBlade.com. Again, I'm the Vez2. Uh, enjoy your shaves, and as always, your mileage may vary.